Hey everyone, and welcome back to BMX News, the weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, the first thing that we have to talk about today directly from the title and thumbnail is the Huff Cult Collaboration Bike. It just came out yesterday. I don't know if there's any more available, and honestly, I didn't even know what Huff was until all of this happened, and I still don't even know if I'm saying it right. But apparently, Huff is a popular streetwear company, and what it says on our BMX right here is that it's inspired by 80s BMX culture in vintage Japanese dirt bike gear. Very interesting. There's a 26 inch cruiser available, which you're seeing right now, as well as a long and short sleeve shirt. And when it comes to the bike, Huff was responsible for everything visual that we see, the details on the tires, the stickers, and everything visual about the bike. And then along with this, Vital BMX did an interview with Robbie Morales about the project. And there's a bunch of questions in there with information that kind of give a little bit of backstory here. And what I do think is cool about this one is that Robbie actually knew the guy behind Huff before he passed away and they worked together on this project and I do think that that's pretty cool in a collaboration like this one it makes it more personal and there's a video at the bottom of the interview where Robbie talks about this stuff he talks about the guy his name is Keith and how he involved him with things back whenever they were coming up riding and the other guy was skating so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this in the comments down below it's a little bit different than the Supreme SM bike because of the direct connection here between the two company owners but just like the Supreme SM bike I think collaborations like this do good things for BMX and exposing it to a wider audience and potentially getting more people involved. I know this one's just a 26 inch bike, but Colt makes other bikes and maybe if they look into this and look into the people behind it and how people like Brandon Began are involved in the marketing for this one, actually riding the bike and wearing the clothes. And in the end, it seems like this is another one that isn't just some humongous company coming in and trying to make a few bucks off of BMX. So then after that, I wanted to highlight a video that came out this past week. You probably have already seen the successful clip, but this video is everything that went into it and making it happen. And that is Ryan Nyquist answering the Jason N's half bar toothpick half bar challenge that our BMX put out. This video is almost 20 minutes long of everything and every single attempt that went into it and all of Ryan Nyquist's personality that came with that. This trick presumably hasn't happened in 23 years since Jason Enns did it. And then Ryan Knight was put in the work to make it happen after the challenge was issued. And I think that there might be at least a few of you watching this that remember seeing the Jason Enns clip when it was new. So I wanted to make sure that I highlighted that for you guys. And just the fact that this stuff is becoming more popular in BMX and more people are seeing it, more people are getting stoked on it. And it gets me stoked. And the next video is another one that's getting me stoked. Mark Burnett, the lot from Sabrosa. This is him riding the ramps at the Sparky's warehouse. And what gets me stoked about this is the fact that he's got a brake on his bike. Takes him a second to do some brake tricks. The last two clips are the brake tricks. Everything else is good. He does a tail whip into that curved ramp thing that they have there. You'd have to just see it to understand. It was definitely really, really nuts. I enjoy the fact that he's got brakes and a cassette on his bike again. I don't care about the cassette part, but the fact that brakes could make a comeback and gets me stoked. The fact that people are stoked on Nyquist doing a half bar tooth, half bar. It's just awesome to see something different than the normal day today in BMX. And the next video I wanna talk about is Anthony Catlow's Merit 2020 video that came out this past week. If you haven't heard of Anthony Catlow, you need to watch this video. He's a young shredder out in the New Jersey area who is absolutely killing it. This dude is doing dead man stuff and the thumbnail of this video is a perfect example of that. Complete insanity. You need to check it out. He's also a really nice dude. I got to ride with him. I think it was last year. I can't even remember at this point with how 2020 has been, but I got to ride with him and he was a really solid, nice dude promotes wearing his helmet that's always good as well and i just think that you should watch this video because he's up and coming relatively unknown and definitely someone that's worth watching after that we've got a bunch of videos that i thought were worth mentioning but i didn't want to go super in depth on we've got we the people's perfect strangers 2 they already put out perfect strangers 1 with riders outside of the u.s this is the u.s riders version with logan penberg riley smith and justin cope bell so check that one out if you want to it's pretty cool to see we the people focusing on their am team and putting an emphasis on promoting them then after that we've got mongoose in the carolinas and then we've got matt perkins in mexico city followed by snm's mike mondays number three with hucker hoder and stall followed by another snm video snm tv the career of josh stricker 
There's a lot of stuff that I feel like is going to get a lot of people who watch these videos and are on my channel just stoked. And that brings us into the product news for this week. The first thing I want to talk about is actually the Mongoose video that I just mentioned previously because I hadn't actually watched it yet. The way I do these news videos is I watch things as I'm talking about them and I hadn't clicked the button until after I just recorded that piece that you saw. And in watching this video, it's right at 10 minutes long and it's actually a really, really good video. The whole Mongoose team, including the newly added Michael Laren, are traveling all around North Carolina to all of these different spots, including some trails, outdoor skate park, indoor skate park. And it feels like that props vibe where you got Lee Ramsdale introduced Producing it. Then you've got Michael Laren, Pat Casey, Nikita Dakaros, and Kevin Peraza all talking about the trip throughout as the footage plays and everyone killed it. The vibe of the video was really, really good. And you might be asking, why is this in the product section? Well, Lee Ramsdell introduced this as a trip to see the 2021 completes from Mongoose Bikes which I think we might have caught a glimpse of in here, but it wasn't exactly what the video was. But that, along with just how good this video is, was enough to make me want to bring it up again and make sure that you guys went and watched it. Because Michael, absolutely amazing bike rider. I feel like he's another one of these underrated, less heard about people who just aren't on everyone's radar when they should be. Then Kevin Peraza, Nikita Takaros, and Pat Casey, we all know that they are absolutely amazing bike riders and 10 minutes of them shredding all kinds of different skate parks and even some trails is definitely entertaining to watch and anyone who enjoys the props vibe of anything will really enjoy this video. And then there was a couple product promos that came out this week. First up, we've got Felix Prangenberg's A Class Signature Creature Tire. The video is a minute and 20 seconds long of Felix Prangenberg shredding around the streets with some glimpses at the tire, just enough to make you want to look up and see more if you're slightly interested in it. Then we've got a promo for Alex Himes' Anyway Plastic Peg from Colony. This one, Alex Heim, you know what you're getting into with Alex Heim riding. Both videos do a good job of being product promos. And then we've got a video bike check from Sunday with Brett Silva on his dark wave bike build, which is Brock Rayford's signature frame. I thought this was interesting and I definitely wanted to throw it in here because it was recently announced that Brett is riding for Merit again. So you get to see all of the different Merit parts that are on his bike now and what he chooses to ride from them and I thought that that might be of some interest to some of you out there and with that being said what do you guys think about this cult huff collaboration what do you think it's good bad indifferent or any thoughts about it leave them in the comments down below and while you're down there if you're new or you haven't yet hit the subscribe button so that we can see you tomorrow for another video thank you guys for watching see you tomorrow goodbye